Hello, I'm Ben Smith, Product Manager at MerchantLink, and welcome to part two of our series on Transaction Shield with Micros Res. In this session, I'll be talking to you about the difference between the use of point-to-point -point encryption and not using point-to-point -point encryption. MerchantLink's point-to-point -point encryption product is called Transaction Shield. And what I'll talk to you about is what does the card data do while it goes through the transaction flow in a point-to-point -point encryption solution versus not. I'll start with the not using transaction shield solution. And this could apply not only to RES, this could apply to the 9700, the E7, Symphony 1, uh, any of those systems that, that aren't using transaction shield or don't have the capability to. Okay. In that case, when a payment occurs, server will have a card and will swipe it either through the integrated reader on the workstation or on a peripheral. That information will go in the clear into the POS operations system. At that point, it's encrypted locally by the microsystem for transport on the LAN. It gets sent then to the server where it has to be decrypted, put back in its original form, however briefly, and then re-encrypted for communication to the gateway or the processor. At that point, of course, it will be decrypted here and then processed in its raw form over to the bank. If Transaction Vault is in place, that information will be tokenized, and the token data will be sent back to the server where it can then be referenced and used for future purposes. In the case where point-to-point -point encryption or Transaction Shield is being used, additional peripherals are needed. You can update to a new pin pad reader like the iPad or to the secure key reader. You can also utilize integrated encrypting readers within the workstations. The difference being that, one, this holds secret material. It's got a key that's been injected before the merchant even saw it. And when the card information is swiped through these peripherals, it's encrypted immediately by the read head hardware and then passed into the workstation in its encrypted form. Now the process that's involved in the microsystem to encrypt locally is still in place. So you sort of have a double layer of encryption going on at that point. This is getting encrypted again, sent to the server, decrypted again, and then sent on to merchant link like it was previously. However, it's still in this lovely encrypted form. This gets sent into the merchant link network. The gateway then recognizes it as encrypted data and submits it to the transaction shield decryption appliance. At that point, the key is known, so it turns it back into the card information, sends it on to the acquirer for approval, on the return trip, it will be tokenized, and this token will then be sent back to the server for future use. The main differentiators here are that in the case where point-to-point -point encryption isn't being used, this data is existent here. It's in either virtual memory or some other application process on this server. At the same time, the keys that are being used for local comm and encryption are within the system. They're there to be found. In the case where transaction shield and point-to-point -point encryption are being used, this data does not exist over here. All you ever have is that. And the only place the key exists is here. And therefore, great amount of risk management for everything that's on this side of the equation as well as potential scope reduction from a PCI perspective. For more information, we invite you to visit our online community for micros dealers at merchantlinkcommunity.com. Thanks for watching.